Right, well, my guest tonight races superbikes on the club circuit, yet she only learned how to ride a motorcycle at the age of 30. And in only her second year of racing, has already moved up to the B-class racing. Moronwa Mahope, welcome to Sport on Prime. Thank you for having me. Right, so superbikes, those are the big guns. How did you get involved in that? Um, sure. Um, I have a biking element and a sports uh, element. So mm. I started on the road. I used to ride my bike, commuting to work. And that was a small bike that I had in 2013 when I started learning uh, how to ride a bike. Yes. And how I got interested in the sport is I took a trip to Nelspreet with um, a bunch of guys that we used to ride, ride together, Eagles, bike, li Bikers, Limpopo. And we took a trip to Gauteng, Nelspreet, and Limpopo. All right, so, so they're, they're a bad influence on you. No. <laughs> you were riding a, uh, a conservative, mm, what, 250 cc? 250. And, and then I, you got involved with a biker gang. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? And I now think you're up to riding, riding with the gang. Um, a actually club, a club. <laughs> Gave me more confidence yes, and yeah. then I toughened up. Um, when I came back, uh, somebody said, you know what, the way you enjoy the cast, that you should try a track. Yes. And I went to the track, I met Temba Kumalo, who is the superbike racer. Uh, he's only 21. And from there, I was on the track every day. And that's where I got inspired to do the sport. That's yeah. when I got more and more and I got a love for sports. Absolutely. And then that's where it started. So what track do you race on? I uh, mainly do Red Star, it's in Delmas, Red Star Club Races. I've been to Swarkops in okay. Pretoria. Welcome, there's a track, Pagisa. And so far I've done those. And this coming weekend, I'm doing n the 25th. I'm racing in Swar Swarkops again. There's a final extreme fi uh, festivals. And I'm going to Zim next month. I got invited. So to you're very, very busy. Very, so very committed. once you get involved <laughs> in motorbikes, it just seems to to, to progress at, at quite yes. an alarming rate. Like I said, I started on a 250, but now I'm racing a 600. Yes. Which I had to build myself up. Then now I did doing 600 and getting more competitive. And my goal is actually race. Now these bike nationals. races, it's it's not women's race. You're racing against men. Against men, unfortunately, okay. which is nice, though, uh, yeah. uh, I must say. I so mean, it's, it's pretty yeah. tough to yeah, be on the circuit. Tough. You need to be tough. Yes. <laughs> they, they, they don't no. take kindly. I leave my heels at home, and then I go race. I wear leathers, yeah. and I go race, uh, and I enjoy it. And you get the respect when you start beating them. Because yeah, you're currently course. third on yeah. the, in the B-class yeah. championship. Uh, actually, uh, like the run. last race, I got um, more points because I won the race, both races, so I got to second. Mm -hmm. And that is missing two races because I had an injury uh, media. Yeah. So I had to miss so two races. So you're still up there and in with a shout. Yes. But I mean, you know, going to a track, all male dominated kind of world, you, you're going to the pits. Do they test your knowledge? Do they ask you if you know anything about engines and, and all that kind of stuff just to see if, if they're really dealing with someone serious? No, not at all. <laughs> I think we all show our talents on the track. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. the ride is different <laughs> from the, the pit crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the, um, the talent is actually in the track. Yes. Yeah. So we have people that technicians that look at the bikes. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't need to worry about... But you've got to have yeah. your wits about you yeah. uh, on the circuit itself. Yes. On the corners. You a lot need of studying to, you need takes to, place. You need to. Every time yeah. you go to a track, you need to study your track. You have to get a map, mm -hmm. mark your, um, the turns, and then when you get to track, you need to mark your... Have your marks, like when you go to track, when you're going to turn, when you're going to close in, when you're going to um, start giving it power or giving it throttle. So sure. that's, yeah... So it's a very intensive uh, kind of sport to, to be immersed in. Uh, I suppose it also takes up a lot of your time and money. Sure, it does. Yeah. Um, um, especially time and money. That is the most challenging thing at the moment. I mean, I work full time. Yep. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. And at the same time, we actually funding from our own salaries. So that is actually taking a beating. It's a but labor yeah, of love. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, that's kind of where, you that's know, if you look at the TT yeah. races and that, it's always been, all, all, you know, all guys in sheds, you know, making their bikes and then going racing around the Isle of Man and stuff. I suppose it's a lot like that right now in South Africa as well for you. Um, 
you know you, you're very hands-on with your with your sport no definitely yeah. so you need to know you need to know how much money you're spending you need to budget you need to know your tires how much you're spending on your tires when i crash i cry because i know that is yeah. going to come out of my money and yeah. wheel spins <laughs> yeah, th th that's just yeah. frivolous because yeah. th that's a set of tires that yeah. you, you'd have yeah. to replace yeah. So where, where do you get your funding? Have, is, have you been approached by sponsors or is that the next step for you? That is the next step for me because, I mean, the more you become competitive, that's the more you spend more money. That's more you spend more money on tires. You need to more money on training. So that is where uh, we're looking at partner, partnership, um, partnering with um, private sectors. Yes. And we have approached uh, Motorsports South Africa. So they, they will be looking at, yeah, okay, so something you, for next there year. are plans in the future yeah, to yeah. take you forward. What, what's yeah. the next step for you? you? You're at Class B at the moment. National championships, Definitely. Overseas. National championships, that is the focus, my main goal. The reason why I'm racing is right. national championships, which is the, um, a possibility if I put more time in the time that I've been putting. That is in 2019. So I will be still racing. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just mm. around the corner. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. yeah for, uh, compared to what I've started. When I started last year, I was like um, an, a lady taking a stroll uh, in the park. Yes. But now I'm, I'm very competitive and I think there's still more improvement. Yeah. And I believe in myself. I will definitely. And you've I spoken about, uh, you know, you cry when you crash because <laughs> of the cost to the bike. But what about mm. the cost to your, your, your body? I mean, some of those crashes, <laughs> they don't look cute. They, they um, yeah, I have terrifying. The, I had the nice, nastiest, like last year, yeah. just before I started racing, I had a crash where I broke my collarbone. It costed me three, three months out of action. Sure. I had to put a plate on and I still raced even, but it was risky yeah. with the plate on. So but that just gets you more respect on the yeah. circuit, I suppose. Everyone's yeah. got the war stories yeah. and the, the yeah. injuries. And I had another one this year. Fortunately, that yeah. one was, a, was just a fractured, the other one, the other side of the shoulder. It was just a fractured bone. So fortunately, um, it was just a sling yeah. over six weeks. And it was all healed. Right, so you were saying that it's different to race on the circuit than it is to actually operate a bike in, in traffic on, on, on the road. Um, why is that? Um, I think at the track it's more controlled. I mean, you, you have control of your environment. I mean, if I had a crash that I had on the road, God knows what. Mm. But the, f the safety on the road is very scary these days. I used to ride on the road and now I'm sitting there calm thinking, I can't believe I used to ride in traffic yeah. with my motorbike. Because I can look in the car, look someone riding the bike and I'm thinking, I hope these guys can see this person coming behind. And it's so scary. I mean, when you ride on the road, you, had, you need 10, 10 eyes. Unlike me sitting in the car, I only need my two eyes. So we've got to advocate for yeah. road safety. Yeah. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Moronwa. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. And we're going to keep tabs on your career. And you've got to come back when you, you, know, when you achieve more and, and come and share with us. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.